Hello everyone. Now in this video, we will develop our first basic program or we will write the logic for our first program that is sum of two numbers. Generally in every programming language, every program has three parts. So whenever we are developing a program, every program has three parts. First one is input. Second one is processing logic. And the third one is output. In any programming language, whenever we are developing a program, Every program majorly consists of three parts, input, processing logic, output. Sometimes input might be optional, yes. Without any input, we want the output, yes. So generally every program based upon input, then we will write the logic and then we will display the output. Now. If we will compare it to our program, which we are developing, we want to make sum of two numbers. So what is our input? Input is two numbers. What is logic? We need to write the logic to make sum. And what is the third step? Output after sum, whatever the output is coming, we need to display that output. So we will go for these steps one by one. Now I will just recall the what we did in the first video itself. We gave the name to the program. When we click on to create button, we gave the type of the program as executable. Why we gave the program type as executable? Because we want to execute the program. We want to run the program. That's why we took the type as executable program. When we took the type as executable program, we discussed at that point of time, the first word which is coming in the program is report. So if someone is saying you that you need to develop a report, so just understand that you need to create a executable program. So if someone is saying that you need to create a executable program or you need to create a report, just understand Rivan, both are one and the same thing. So by seeing itself, you can understand that the program which we are developing is executable program. So executable program has the word report there. Now, we will start with the logic part. We'll start with the program. We'll firstly go for input. Then we will go for logic. And then we will go for output. I will go to change mode of the program. If you remember, we discussed the shortcut also. To go to the change mode, shortcut is control plus F1. Now, now we will go for three variable declaration. Two will be input and one will be output. So I will declare three variables and we will cover or we will revise each and everything what we did in the last six to seven videos. Each and everything will be revised at this point of time. So I will declare first where first input variable. I'm writing DA. See, I'm writing DA, but data is automatically given, automatically given by SAP because it is a keyword. So whenever you will write something, SAP will automatically give the suggestion that you want to put that particular thing or not. Suppose if I will again put DA, SAP is saying that you want to put data. So in that case, if you want the keywords on the editor, you have to use tab. So always make a practice that you will use tab 
so that there's no need to write each and everything. SAP will automatically give the suggestion with the help of tab you can put on the editor. Now I will declare first input, first input variable. I'm writing LV underscore input one. We'll go for all these things. We'll understand everything. I am writing type. Type is a keyword. Now I am writing N. N stands for numeric. And I am putting dot at the last because in the first video itself we covered every statement ends with a dot. Now I declare the first input variable. Now I will declare second input variable data tab. LV underscore input to type and I will write N again and I am putting dot. The second statement is also ended. Now I will declare one output variable. LV underscore output. I, I am writing N numeric. So now we will revise each and everything. What is the meaning of these three statements? We cover that topic data type and data object. So what is these three? What is these three? LV input one, LV input two, LV underscore output. These three are your data object. And what are these three? These three are the type. These three are the type of the data object. These three data object are of what type? Numeric type. I will specify the length. Suppose first input is two. Second input is also two. The length is two. And suppose output the length is three. I will say. Now we will go for more, more deeper revision. I gave the type as N. And if you remember, we have three types of data types. Elementary, complex and reference data type. Just recall, if we are giving numeric, it is which type, it is which category of data type. It is elementary data type. So everything, whatever we covered, now it's a turn to revise each and everything. If you remember elementary data type, we have numeric. It is a elementary data type. Now, now we will come on to more, more closer. These three are data object because they will hold the value. They will hold the data. They will hold the content. Now, we have how many types of data object? We have two types of data object. One is unnamed and second one is named. Is this named or unnamed data object? These are named data object. We have the, we have the name of the data object. LV input one, name of the data object. LV input two, name of the data object. LV underscore output name of the data object. Now, named data object are of three types, variable, constant, text symbol. And if you remember, a named data object are of three types, variable, constant, text symbol. And what is variable? If you are declaring by using data, it means it is a variable. So we have three variables. Now you can relate very easily. People are simply asking you that declare three variables. Now you have a clear understanding that these are variables. Yes, but they are the part of named data object. We have the name. We have the name. So now our two input, we declare two input and one output. Now we will give the proper comment also. If I want to give a comment here, can I use star? I cannot use star. Star is at the start of the line. If I want to give comment, 
if i want to give a comment here i have to use colon so we will give the proper comments also i am saying it is first input now we will write here second input so with the help of double quotes you can give the comments also so after this whatever is there it will act as a comment now i will write third input now we will go for our three step process we will save control s we'll go for syntax check we'll go for activation now just remember two important things a good technical person or a good abap consultant always do two things they always always believe in keyboard shortcuts rather than going for syntax they will always use shortcuts suppose control plus f1 control plus f2 control plus f3 control plus s they will always believe in shortcut and a good programmer always always follow the best naming conventions if you see i have not given the names like a b c d something yes we should always always follow the proper naming convention so that anyone can understand our logic i gave the name starting with lv lv is local variable it is a it is it is just suggesting that this is a local variable this is a local variable this is a local variable so you can say local data object local data object local data object because we cannot use anywhere else these can be used in this particular program itself we cannot use anywhere else so always use the proper naming convention so that everyone can understand now i will activate the program now now first part of the program we gave the input we gave two input and one output variable now we need to give the input firstly we will go for default input and then in the upcoming videos we will take the input from the user itself but we will start with the process that we will go for a default input so how to give the default input what is one way you can use value keyword this value is the keyword suppose for the first variable the input is 10 value is 10 same way you can give a input to the second variable suppose input is 20 now it's a turn to again recall what is 10 and what is 20 are they named data object or unnamed data object these are unnamed data object and what is this 10 and 20 it is a sequence of number sequence of number it means it is a numeric literal numeric literal just recall the concept we already cover numeric literal are the sequence of number example 10 20 so this is your numeric literal now it's your wish rather than this we can go for other way also suppose if you do not want to go by this way you can go by this way also lv underscore input one ten then we can write lv underscore input two is equal to twenty means ten will be assigned to this data object twenty will be assigned to this data object we are always passing the value or assigning the values from right to left you can go by this way also you can go by this way also one and the same thing it's your wish okay so what we learned in this particular video and what is the summary of the video every program has three parts we can go for input processing logic and output input is optional depends upon the purpose whenever you are creating a executable program the first word in the program is always report 
So whenever you will see the word report, just understand it is a executable program. We declare two input and one output variable. If you want to give a default input, you can you give by using the value keyword or you can assign like this also. Whenever you are writing, if it is matching with keyword, SAP will give the suggestion with the help of tab, you can put on your ABAP editor. Rest part of this program, we will continue in the next video. Thank you.